Hey, God bless you guys. It's me, Crystal for Jesus here, back with another video. I pray you're having a blessed and awesome, wonderful day in the Lord Jesus. So today, you guys, we have another uh, video that was sent to me. This is, she said, uh, it was a rapture dream. This is Sir Mac. That's the channel name. You can find her in the description box below. I always leave it down there for you if they have a channel. So she said she had a rapture dream. And she said, Jesus is coming. So we're going to go ahead and get into this. And uh, so I hope you guys are being encouraged. I hope you guys are waking up to the times that we are living in. Because seriously, we are living in the end times. We don't know. Like we got the Noah's Ark built. We got like signs and, and the moon, the stars and everywhere. So we know that we could be leaving at any moment now, you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Okay. Hi, everybody. Yes, I had a rapture dream, so I want to tell you guys about it, um, and I wrote it down here, so um, it was a little bit ago, and June 15, 2021, um, and to give you a little background, my family is, um, there's always happening in my family, somebody's seeing the departed, or having a vision or a dream or and it comes true so I've kind of been blessed with this since um, since I was about 15 years old um, and I'll tell you about that another time but right now I just wanted to let you know about this um, I didn't know that I could get on YouTube <laughs> in 2021 and look this up so I made copies and I passed it out to about 200 or 300 people and 15 ministers and churches and honestly um, I have only been maybe 50 percent receptive with the pastors but mm. it seems like every single person has grabbed this dream and wanted the, the copy of it so um, uh, here we go this morning okay early I had a dream um, so this is back in 2015 I mean 2021 okay so this is what I was at this party at a neighbor's house and it was all green grass. I was looking out of a great big picture window and um, I didn't know that many people at the party so I decided to go across the street where it was a little bit more peaceful and sit on um, a little bench like a cement little bench and um, as I was sitting there the, um, the sky got dark really super dark and then it got light again then it got dark and light and this was like so pitch black I was looking at my hand and my hand I couldn't even see my hand it was so black so I was oh my gosh what's going on what's happening so I turned around behind me and um, I looked around the sky and a hole opened up like a the sky split open and there was white clouds and like a, a host though they weren't clouds they were people and they were a little blurry so I couldn't tell if it was angels or per people and in the middle was Jesus he was wearing a white gown and um, now I've seen him before lots of times and so it was him and he opened like I said to myself okay I think I'm having a dream in my dream <laughs> and um, or a vision so I was saying this in my dream and I always say if this is real then Jesus moved so I know so right then he opened up his hands outward and he looked at me and just I was like oh <laughs> and I, I like stunned and I just popped up out of my bed woke up and um, so that's not all there's two more parts to this so then what happened was I fell back asleep and as I was um, sleeping um, this like it was either Jesus or an angel who had their hands um, to me in my dream to start with and they took me and they took me up to another place like it was not here it was heaven and I knew it was heaven because it was beautiful absolutely gorgeous the grass was so bright green and there were children and they were playing 
on a playground, lots and lots of little babies that were walking and talking, two, three, like toddlers, and I was looking going, how could they walk around? They're too little, and they're, <laughs> they're babies, and, and they had toys that were different. They were not our types of toys, like a unicycle, a little tiny toddler could never balance and play on a unicycle. Well, they were over there. They were advanced. So I started asking the, the angel type person, what is going on? What kind of toys are these? How did they make them and how are they able to do this? And then the, um, the angel person said to me, okay, you have to go back now. So um, I was like, oh. Um, no, I want to know. But then I woke up. Okay, so that's the second part. And the third part is I fell back asleep again. And um, my first dream continued. Okay, so the first, the end of the first dream, again, Jesus was in the sky, opened his hands. I was on the bench. So I got up from the bench and I was walking across the um the street and into a parking lot which was uh, like a mark store and as I looked over I saw an angel standing by the entrance of the store and this was like a really tall um, a tall black gentleman in regular clothes and um, and he was like blasting with like a horn he was telling about Jesus like he was saying Jesus is coming with his horn or blowing the horn it was something to do with this horn and I st I couldn't hear that good so I started running over to him and as I ran over to him he put this thing down and he looked at me like oh did you see something and I says yes I do I see it right now and I pointed like up and backwards above my head and I said look and he said that's you know, there's Jesus. And then this voice came and it said, I'm coming. So that was like Jesus was saying from the sky, oh, I'm coming. Okay. So um, what happened was um, this angel, I looked at him and he gave me this uh, like massive, tall, giant angel gave me this trumpet like bullhorn trumpet thing like it was natural wood or something like a horn but not a not a silver or gold horn like a natural wood like animal horn so he gave it to me and he said tell everyone and I'm like oh my no not me so I just like looked around and um, I saw people that were coming out of the store most of them were like my neighborhood seniors with white hair and like holding their little items their one or two little items and packages and um, they were literally oblivious to any and everything and I was like thinking can't they see Jesus up there right now I mean he's coming it's the rapture and you're not they don't even know or care. So um, that's what I saw. And thank you guys for listening to my three, um, my three parts to my rapture. Oh, yes, uh, there's one more thing. Um, so the way I knew this dream was from God was because there was flashing clock, digital clock with red numbers. It was four dot dot. 19 okay it was like 17 18 19 like the clock was flashing like a warning so um so i tried to find in the bible where it said something about 4 16 17 18 19 and i i found it it's in first thessalonians 4 16 to 18 and um it says for the lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air 
and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Um, where, wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Oh, my gosh. So, we telling these rapture dreams is spot on, okay? It's not like it's not in the Bible, pastors. I went to 15 churches, and half of them didn't want to hear. So, this is spot on, and it is in the Bible. We are supposed to be talking about it in the churches. And we are supposed to comfort one another with the words. Okay, now the 19 that was flashing is just sort of my thing. And um, literally, you guys, I, I feel that this Bible is going to be added to after the rapture. And verse number 19, possibly, think about it. If there was a 19, what would it be? Okay? What would it say? I'm just saying about those kids, you know? <sighs> All right. Well, oh I got to tell you now one other thing. Okay. So, my dad, now this is because I know for sure that this is going to happen pretty soon. All right? And the reason I'm saying that is because my brother is... Um, 70 years old, okay, and I am um, going to tell you that when I was 20, my dad had a dream about the rapture, and he said all his kids went up, all right, and my family <laughs> doesn't live to 80 and 90, oh they my died, goodness. the oldest one was 80, like 85, 80 something, all right, so 82 or 3, my dad, so he didn't say he went up and my mom went up, he said all my four kids and their spouses went up okay so um Aww. just to let you guys know there's more to this story but it's enough for right now and um and so i want to let you know that it's going to be coming soon that you should definitely be ready get ready and believe it okay god bless goodbye brothers and sisters oh my gosh <laughs> <sighs> ah, I just love this dream. I just loved it so much. Thank you so much, sis, for sending this to me. You are amazing and you are so awesome. And I'm so glad. Hold on. I Okay, I just <laughs> I just wanted to fix her face there. Like I didn't want to leave it like that. But um yeah, so you guys, that was so so awesome. And the fact that Jesus says, I am coming, like I got the goosebumps. He saw me like go like this, you know, like I literally got the shivers when I heard that because how many other people have had dreams, right? And in their dreams, Jesus says the same exact thing. And this is something that has been happening to, to me this, this week is that um, like, as I was talking in a video, I felt the Lord telling me that we need to be the trumpet. We need to be sounding the trumpet. Like, right, we're, we're, we're trying to hear the sound of the trumpet, but we need to be blowing the trumpet. And then the next videos that I started recording and watching was people having dreams that they are the ones blowing the trumpets. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> like God is totally speaking right now. And like, I'm getting the same exact message is that we are responsible for blowing the trumpet. Jesus is telling us to get ready to go get ready. Like he's coming. Right. And we need to be blowing the trumpets. We need to be out there sharing the dreams and visions and telling people that Jesus is coming soon. Look at all the signs. Right. And I know many of us are, and I know you guys are. But I'm sure there's many of you that haven't said a word to your family. You're afraid. You got to tell them who cares about what they say about you. Who cares if they give you the mean eye or laugh at you or whatever. Like you can do it, you know, like just tell them, right? Because you you don't want to have any regrets when the rapture happens. You don't want to have regrets that you didn't tell them. And we are at midnight, you guys. We are at the midnight cry and the cry is going out just like the parable of the 10 bridesmaids, you know, at midnight, there was a cry made. The bridegroom is coming. Go out to meet him. That is where we're at right now. You guys, we are literally at that 
pivotal moment right now where the cry is going out and we are trying to be like, the Lord is coming. Go out to meet him. We need to be out. We need to be ready. We need to be out there ready to meet Jesus. So I think that's everything I wanted to say. Whoo. I love, I love this video. I'm just, man, like, <laughs> I love you, sis. I love you guys. If you made it to the end of this video, please leave below in the comments. We need to be blowing the trumpet. We need to be blowing the trumpet, you guys, and put some trumpets emojis on that. So I love you guys, and I pray you're being blessed and encouraged. Stay in Jesus Christ. Stay in repentance. Stay following. Stay on the narrow path. I love you, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.